Hello, I'm Wayne Partridge, a Christian businessman. Welcome to part two, the Catholic version of confess, confession. Uh, when I dealt with part one, it was about baptism, how the Catholics believe that that washes away sin, and the Bible says that Jesus died for our sins, was raised was uh, buried and rose again the third day. Believing in that will save my soul and forgive me for my sin, and you too. So the Catholic version of baptism is heresy. Baptism has nothing to do with sin. It has to do with a changed life. Now, confession. When we get into confession, I think it's important that first we look at the priest and who is who we are confessing our sins to. And first of all, let's look at this. Article 10, the forgiveness of sin, at the, at the end of that it says that Catholics believe that sins are forgiven in baptism and in the sacraments of penance. That means works. So now we're going to look at the priest. And the priest is a baptized man, which means he's still in his sin. He's gone through rigorous training, and he is ready to become a priest now. So he comes before a lot of other priests, and they are going to ordain him. A little further, you have to remember that Jesus, when he gave the Last Supper, he presented the bread and the wine and said, Take, eat, this is my body, and do this in remembrance of me. Then he was resurrected, and he went to heaven. And now he is, Jesus is the mediator between man and God. 1 Timothy 2.5 this is a page right out of my Bible. Right there in the middle of the page says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Since Jesus Christ has ascended to heaven, the Catholic Church believes then they need a mediator on earth, a man on earth to take Christ's place, to not only perform the Lord's Supper, but other tasks in the church. And this means that the priest takes over Jesus Christ's job. He now becomes Jesus Christ. He has a split personality. When he steps into the confessional or to baptize someone or to give communion, it's not the man. It's not a man, a baptized man, a sinner. It is Jesus Christ. So when he sits down at the confessional, he's not himself. He's Jesus then. When he gives uh, communion, it's not himself, it's Jesus then. And my friend, that is the biggest lie ever told. And that's not even confession. That's just who the priest is. That's heresy. I ran this off of the Catholic website, How to Go to Confession. It's a guide. And first is preparation. You examine your thoughts and words and actions and things of your life since your last confession. Then you step into the confessional and you greet the priest and then you give, both of you give the sign of the cross and then you say, bless me father for I have sinned and it's been three months, six days before my last confession. You tell him how long it's been. 
Then you confess all your sins, and after you've confessed all your sins, you conclude with this prayer, I am sorry for these and all my sins. And then the priest will give you penance. Then the act of contrition. After the priest has con conferred your penance, in other words, what you're supposed to do that will forgive you for your sins, you pray an act of contrition. And this is the prayer right here. You pray that prayer. And then after the prayer is, then the act of absolution. The priest will then extend his hands over your head and pronounce the words of absolution, and you respond, Amen. I ran this off of another page on their website. It gave a prayer of absolution and the conclusion. <clears throat> it says, don't get up and leave after that prayer because the best is yet to come. The priest will extend his hand over your direction and he will pray the prayer of absolution. God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection of his Son, has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit among us for the forgiveness of sins. Through the ministry of the church, I see, may God grant the pardon and peace, and I have Resolve you from your sins in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you respond, Amen. Then in conclusion, the priest will then likely say something like, God has freed you from your sin. Go in peace to which you can respond. Thanks be to God. And then uh, a note, don't forget to do your penance. Uh, like if it's saying so many Hail Marys and so many Our Fathers, say them right, of the way, right away so that you don't forget. Here's what we have. We have a sinner, a man. You know, I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. I'm a saved sinner. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins confess my sins to him and ask him to save me and he did and I changed I am still a sinner and I confess my sins to God daily uh, now but here's what we have we have sinner a sinner that was brought into a holy council of other men and they put their hands on him and they ordained him and that ordinance, that or, ordaining service made that man a priest and also he's now the mediator between God and man. That, my friend, is heresy. Another big Catholic lie. And then he goes into the confessional and men and women confess their sins to this sinner and then he baptizes people and all the time he's doing this he's Jesus Christ the God of God the King of Kings he is saying that he is Jesus Christ that is dangerous my friend the Catholic Church is not a church it's a club. It's a club. All the robes and the fancy uh, crowns and the jewels and all this, it's a shrine. It's a club. It's not a church anymore. 1 John 1, 9 says, If we confess our sins, He, that is God, is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is, God will forgive us for our sins. 
Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Look at that. For God's grace are ye saved through our faith, and that not of ourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, no works, lest any man should boast. It's very simple. If it's not, in God's word, then it's not true, and it's heresy. And confession, the Catholic version of confession, is not in God's word. You do not confess your sins to a priest or a man or anyone but God Almighty. And when you get penance and you do the works like saying 10 Hail Marys and four Our Fathers and doing community service or whatever it is, that's against Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. That's works. It seems like everything that the, that the Catholic Church has in their doctrines is contrary to the Word of God. And they are a club. They are not a church. They are a club. 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4, is the gospel of Jesus Christ. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. Romans 10, 9, 10, and 13. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, that's you and I, that he gave Jesus Christ, gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave Jesus Christ on the cross to die for your sin and for mine, and that if we would believe that, we can be saved and go to heaven and escape hell. Friend, I would like to pray with you now a prayer of salvation. And if you would like to be saved generally the, the real true way, pray with me this prayer. Father in heaven, forgive me for my sin. By faith I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sin, and I would ask that you would come into my heart, come into my life, and save me. Save my soul. Make me a new person in Christ. Change me to be a new person in Christ. And I'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. You have to have faith in Jesus Christ, nothing else. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin and for mine. And if we'll place our faith and trust in that for our salvation, he will save us. And above all, please get out of the Catholic Church.